Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the slowest vehicles in GTA Online. If all of a sudden you have a really important race and you need to complete it as fast as possible and you're up against cars like the Krieger, the Wagner or something, you probably don't wanna use these vehicles. Starting off with the Zaba, this vehicle will make you absolutely wanna puke on yourself. One, because of how weird it looks and two, because of how slow and how weird it is to drive around with it. I still don't get to this day why this vehicle is so expensive. It is so useless and it's one of the most overpriced vehicles for what it could do. Honestly, this thing should be absolutely free because it is just an absolute pain to drive around. Next up is the Dozer, which is the construction vehicle. It's not too hard to spawn it in, even in online. And statistically, this is actually the number one slowest vehicle in the game, which is crazy. The reason I'm not gonna poop on this one like we did with the Zaba is because this one's actually kind of fun to drive around because of the front blade of it. You can ride around flipping over pedestrians and just flipping over a ton of random vehicles and really mess around and have actual random fun with this thing causing mayhem around the city. I just personally found it fun picking up the randomest things whether it's cars or just anything. You can even pick up pedestrians on foot in this thing and at that point the NPCs have no idea what to do after you've picked them up with the front blade. It's pretty fun to mess around with, definitely give it a go if you haven't yet. And the spawn location of this will be included in the gameplay if you actually want to go and spawn it in in-game for yourself. Then we have the airport shuttle, which is another pretty slow vehicle, but it can actually hold up to eight passengers, which is a decent amount. Those airport shuttle buses are really easy to spawn in. They spawn in in the small parking lots right next to the terminals, and you can carry a good amount of people, which is a plus with it. And there's kind of like a second version of this as well which is the like celebrity tourist bus or I think you just call them tourist buses they basically spawn on Vinewood Boulevard which is the famous street with all like the stars on the sidewalks that one's a different version of the airport shuttle bus it's got like an open roof in the back and stuff it's definitely a unique looking vehicle it's just very very slow unfortunately real quick thank you to today's sponsor Halden Sportswear it's an awesome sports jersey shop consisting of the latest kits including World Cup Cup jerseys, retro ones, and both fan versions and player versions, and they have jerseys of over 200 different teams. And along with a big variety, they have their great quality jerseys from my experience, so I'll make sure to link both their website and their Instagram down below in the description if you want to go check them out. And with that, let's get back into the video. The next we have the Party Bus, which is a really cool vehicle. It's just very unfortunate that it is one of the slowest vehicles in the game, definitely. The only reason you would actually want to drive this vehicle around is because of the unique top of it that you have where people could just stand on top of the platform with a DJ set and stuff. Something I found to be pretty weird about it is that if you want to take it on the highway and you pass by a bridge, the head on top of the party bus is just going to get brushed off because it's just too tall. So be careful with this thing because you can literally like break the stuff on top because it's so tall. I remember taking it on a highway with a couple of people on the top like dancing and then we pass under a bridge and then the whole top part just gets brushed off. Next up is the dump truck. This one's pretty self-explanatory because this vehicle is gigantic. It's got huge wheels and it's one of the heaviest vehicles in the game. It's very, very slow and the only fun thing I found about it is just ramming cars on the highway with it. That's pretty much it. It doesn't even have any explosive resistance so one missile or rocket is gonna take this thing down so I don't really recommend it. Then we have the field master which is just the regular tractor in game and tractors are obviously very slow in real life and it's no different in GTA Online but it could definitely be good if you're doing some sort of like farmer roleplay or like roleplay on a farm. For some honorable mentions we have the regular bus you can find it in the city in different places. The only good thing about that though is it has a very big capacity so you can carry a lot of players in that. Then we have the metro train. I know it's not exactly like a drivable vehicle or anything but technically you can go on it and it really is slow especially for a metro and finally we have the mount chiliad cable car which is not really drivable but once again it's very slow and it technically is a vehicle now you probably had enough of these slow and pretty useless vehicles so click the video on screen now for the most useful vehicles you must own in gta online i hope you all enjoy that video and peace